transportation in human beings as earlier we study about that nutrition and respiration in animals and plants now we discuss about the transport in human beings and in plants as we learned earlier blood transport food oxygen and salt takes away waste materials from our body blood is a fluid connective tissue in fluid medium in blood is called as plasma in which cells are suspended the plasma in the blood helps in transportation of food oxygen carbon dioxide and nitrogenous waste in dissolved form the oxygen in the blood is carried by red blood cells to perform all the function of the circulation a pumping organs called heart it is present in human bodies which consist of networks of tubes to reach all the tissues of the system let us discuss about the heart in detail heart is a muscular organ which is conical in shape with sizes has of fist and located on the left side of the chest let us discuss about the structure of heart in detail the heart is divided into four chambers first right upper chamber second right lower chamber third left upper chamber and the fourth left lower chamber upper chambers of the heart are called as auricles or atrium lower chambers of the heart are called as ventricles ventricles have thicker muscles than auricles to prevent backward flow of blood valves are present between auricles and ventricles the blood in the body is differentiated into two types of rich content oxygen rich content blood is called as oxygenated blood carbon dioxide rich content blood is called as deoxygenated blood to prevent both types of blood mixing in the heart heart is divided into chambers oxygenated blood which is oxygen rich content reaches from lungs to heart and distributed to rest of the parts of the body deoxygenated blood which is carbon rich content collected from all part of the body to heart for purification transportation in plant why do plants need a transport system plants need water mineral salt and raw material for photosynthesis in order to survive The water and mineral salts from the soil is transported into plants through roots. These can only be transported through the water carrying tubes in the system also known as xylem. Product of photosynthesis prepared in the leaves are to be transported to the other parts of plants. This can only be transported by the food carrying tubes also known as phloem. Transport of water. In xylem tissue vessels and tracheids are the two types of transport tissue in plants. Both vessels and tracheids consist of thick cell wall. tracheids are single cell shorter in length whereas vessels are several celled and much longer than tracheids in xylem vessels the tracheids of root stem and leaves are interconnect to facilitate continuous water conduction system to all parts of plants the water transport upward against force of gravity with the help of xylem vessels in the movement of water upwards plants has two types of strategies absorption of water as the xylem vessels of roots are in contact with the soil it actively absorbs the water ions 
when root is contact with the soil soil has more concentration of water and root has less concentration obviously a difference in concentration of ions is present in between the roots and soil to balance the difference in water ions between roots and soil water moves into roots which means a steady or continuous movement of water into xylem of roots which creates column of water steadily pushing upwards in xylem the flow of water is bulk flow and negative pressure facilitate movement of water and minerals into roots transpiration of water transpiration is nothing but of evaporation of water molecules from stomata of leaves into atmosphere stomata are the gut cells the loss of water in the form of vapors from the aerial part of the plant is known as transpiration the loss of water molecules or evaporation of water molecules through leaves creates suction or root pressure pulls water upward through the xylem cells of roots thus the losses of water through the stomata of leaves are replaced by suction of water through xylem vessels in the leaves it also help in temperature regulation during day transpiration help in conduction of water through xylem vessel and maintains balance of ions between roots and soil during night root pressure occurs due to difference in concentration of active ions between root and soil help in conduction of water phloem phloem is another conducting tissue in the transport of food The structure of phloem consists of conducting cells called sieve elements which are thick circular and elongated cells. The food that is synthesized in photosynthesis are soluble product like sucrose and nutrients carbohydrates etc are transported through phloem in upward and downward direction to all parts of plants. The transport of soluble products of photosynthesis is called translocation. It can be done by using the energy in the form of ATP, adenosine triphosphate produced by photosynthesis. Phloem also transport amino acid and other substances. These are especially transported to fruits and seeds for storage and food transported to roots for the requirement of energy in the process of absorption of water from soil to roots. Sucrose is transferred into phloem by using energy from ATP molecules leads to increase the osmotic pressure of the tissue and water moves into phloem and materials in the phloem to tissue which have less pressure for example in the spring sugar stored in roots or stem tissue would be transported to the buds which need energy to grow